Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine uh, Cohen's H2 uh, which is an effect size measure that you could use for a binomial test and it's a little bit different from the regular H because the regular H is actually uh, for a pairwise test. Now I have some data here, um, people were asked about gender and apparently people only chose one or two and that corresponded with female and male. 99 indicated a uh, no response. So the data goes on, it's a long list. And uh, the first thing we need is actually know how many of each category there were. So I can use count if for that. So count if, and then the range is going to be column A. I'm using a semicolon to separate my parameters, but if you have a different uh, version or different settings, you might have to use a comma. And then the criteria is, of course, uh, this one. I can actually copy paste this formula down, so copy paste, and then I need the sum of these two. Um, you can type in actually alt equals, that's a shortcut for a sum function, and then it automatically selects what's above it in this case, sometimes what's to the side, but this is fine, h6 and h7, which is 47. Then I need to set the expected proportion. Um, I can do that in different ways. I either know it up front and just type it in hard coded 0.5, uh, uh, or I could say, well, I want to see how many categories there are and then do uh, one over that. So one over count and then my two codes because I'm not interested in the missing values. And that's also 0 0.5. So um, the other one then should, of course, be uh, one minus that and the sum again. And these are my expected proportions. So in the end, I'm actually hoping that this would be 50-50. And we're going to uh, see the effect size uh, um, uh, for what if it wasn't. And to test if it's actually different, we have the binomial test. That's a separate video. I also need the proportions the way they were. So I'm simply going to take the proportion of the first category and then divide that by the total. I need dollar signs around that total so I can copy paste. F4 is a shortcut for that and as you can see it's now having the dollar signs by the H and the 8 which means if I copy paste this formula down it's not changing the H8, see it didn't change, but it did change H6 to H7 which is fine, that's exactly what I needed there. Then we need to determine something called phi, which is actually two times the arcsin of the square root of those proportions. Well, luckily Excel has all of those, so two times and then it's a sin, that's the function in um, Excel, and then square root of uh, that pi. All right, and that's about closing parameters. And then copy paste, and now we have both of those. Uh, we need to do the same actually for the expected proportion, so also equals 2 times the a sin of uh, the square root of um, the expected proportion, which we had up here. Let's close the brackets, and there we have it. Copy paste down, and these two are of course the same. Then we can finally calculate h2, which is simply the difference between our observed phi minus the expected phi and in this case that's minus 0 0.498 and if I copy that down I get the same result but then one more decimal so if I would increase one decimal here you can see that they're actually the same uh, besides the negative sign. I have a small uh, user-defined function that I made um, that actually uh, does all of the work in one go, gets the same result. Now, be careful for the interpretation. Cohen usually has a, a small, medium and large effect size interpretation uh, threshold, but that's based on H, not H2, and he does give actually a conversion. So for the conversion, you can simply say, well, I'm taking one of these two. So let's say this one times the square root of two and I need to look up 0 0.70 uh, 70 or 71 in this case. You can ignore the negative sign for that. Um, this is actually the uh, the reference for all of this. Uh, 
and okay, also coming from Cohen and this uh, interpretation table is on page 189 so 0.705 would be uh, still in the range between medium and uh, large alright and I guess that's it for uh, this video hope you uh, found this helpful uh, if you want to know more about binomial tests or effect sizes in general please check my website peterstatistics.com